I'm Eric and I survived five days without power in Huntsville, Alabama. It was more of a camping trip inside my house and I pretty much had everything I needed. It was just uh, a lot different for me because I'm pretty much an inside person. I'm usually on the computer. So I decided to make this little documentary kind of showing the things I did every day. It gave me something to do. It was a project because uh, most of the time I would just kind of sit around trying to think of things to do. It's a, a lot different. I have a video camera that's filming me right now with uh, AA batteries. I have an iPhone that I could keep charged in my car. So uh, here's that video and uh, and let's start with day one. Driving through Huntsville. Looking for tornadoes. Tornado sirens are going crazy today. This is usually the area where uh, tornadoes occur. Lots of lightning, hardly any rain. Alright, now I'm going to drive th right through the storm. Ooh, a lot of lightning in here. All of the lightning is concentrated in this area right here that I'm about to drive into. It's pretty calm out here too. Hardly any wind, no rain. Perfect for a tornado to happen. I see lots of lightning, lots of lightning. And I'm thinking, well, ooh, we're gonna get some tornadoes. Power's out over here, it looks like. So I'm hiding out and uh, in, in Research Park area. Luckily they had a generator in the building. I was in a conference center. Just kind of filmed out the, out, out the back door. I tried to get actual footage of tornadoes, but I, I did get some cool lightning. Good shots here. Which way is downtown? There's a, I think over 50 people have been killed. You know, everybody's freaking out because we don't know what's going on and, and I get some text messages and I, I'm looking at Facebook for news updates from, from local weather and they say that there were lots and lots of tornadoes coming at us from the west, like a conveyor belt of tornadoes, just one after another. It was like, oh, another tornado spotted, it's really close to you, take shelter. And the news was just going crazy, here's a tornado here, here's one there, here's one here. Finally, uh, we realized that uh, the, the city had no power at that time. Citywide blackout. There was no power at all anywhere. So I finally get home and it was just sitting around, you know, doing nothing. Trying to figure out what to do. Checking to see how much food we had. We heard on the radio that the power wouldn't just be out for a few hours, it would be out for a few days. And we thought, oh, okay, we need to get food. <laughs> and uh, so there was rumors going around four to five days, six to eight days, maybe two weeks, nobody knew. And uh, well, it was pretty hard to go to sleep that night. On day two, it was pretty, pretty strange that we still didn't have power. I'd never been two days without power before, but okay, hey, it's like camping, right? Let's let's go to the store. Let's see what the town looks like. And here we come to a four-way stop here, and hopefully, people know how to drive. When the power is out, you treat it like a four-way stop. And not everybody knows the rules. I saw that Walmart was open and there was a big, huge, long line just coming out of the building, wrapping around. There were police there, I think, letting in, you know, little small groups at a time. So I was like, okay, noted. And I drove around. I, I saw that uh, nobody was pumping gas. All of, you couldn't get gas at all. And uh, there was a Publix that was open. 
there were so many people just running around crazy style. I couldn't find a cart, but I knew I wanted to get some food, but they were out of carts. All the carts were in use. There were that many people there. And uh, so what I did was I followed somebody out that were, was leaving with a bunch of groceries and asked him if I could use his cart when he was done. And he was like, yeah, that's cool. So grabbed a bunch of junk food, grabbed everything, grabbed anything, a lot of soup, a ton of soup cans. Well, the lines were so long for each cash register, obviously, they wrapped around inside the, the building. So you couldn't tell if somebody was in an aisle looking at food and parked there and like waiting for something, or if they were just in line, standing there. And then finally I paid for the food, got home. The weather outside was extremely nice. Hardly any clouds in the sky, it was just nice and sunny. Neighbors were out doing stuff. The, everybody in the neighborhood was outdoors. Bikes going by, people on skateboards. Everybody was having a good old time. I actually talked to my neighbors and it was just, everybody was in on it together, you know? And it was, uh, it was pretty cool, it was really fun. I, I definitely felt like I was on vacation on day two. So day two was, uh, was pretty much the eye opener and it was to, to say, okay, this is gonna be like this for, for at least a few more days. So here's your little, little training course for the days to come.